Auz billahi min shaitan rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim assalamu alaikum my name is Farhad Ali and I am lecturer of radiology at professional college of medical sciences in today topic of pipe presentation is the kidney i will describe the anatomy of the kidney Okay, the kidney are bean shaped structure. The kidneys are reddish brown in color. And the kidneys are situated slightly lower than the left one. The right kidney is present slightly at a lower level than the left kidney. And what are the reasons that the right kidney is present at a lower level than the left kidney because of the right and larger lobe of the liver. Liver is present above the kidney and the right kidney is present below the, the right lobe of the liver. So the right kidney is somehow at a lower level than the left kidney. Okay. Each kidney contains about four to four or five inches long. So the length of the kidney is about four to five inches. Here I'm going to uh, differentiate what is the main difference between the male and female kidney. So the difference uh, of between the male and female kidney depends on the volume distribution. The kidney consists of basically the main part of the kidney is the renal medulla and renal cortex. So the cortex in male is larger than the female. Cortex in male is larger in size than the female and medulla in male is uh, smaller in size than the female. So this is the main difference between the male and female kidney. It depends on the volume distribution. The cortex is larger in males uh, than the female and medulla is larger, larger uh, than the uh, medulla of the male. The kidney is covered completely by the costal margin that is medial margin formed by seventh to tenth rib. Now it comes to the gross anatomy of the kidney. So these are some of the parts of the kidney, the renal cortex. The renal medulla. The hilum of the kidney. The renal pyramids. renal column, renal pelvis, and renal papilla. These are some of the main parts of the kidney. So I am drawing a simplified diagram of the kidney.
Okay. This is already, this is the hilum of the kidney. And hilum is the place at which the tubes, the arteries and the veins enters and leaves the kidney. This is the renal pelvis. And these are the renal columns. renal column. This is the renal capsule. And the part which is present here, 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 and here. This is called a renal papilla. renal uh, papilla and this is renal calyx and here uh, renal py pyramids are present renal pyramids and this is the, the area present this this area whole holy this area is a renal cortex and uh, this one is a renal medulla This was a diagram of the kidney, the renal medulla, the renal cortex, the renal capsule, the renal columns, the renal papilla, the renal pyramids, which is present in the renal cortex. And uh, this whole area is the renal calyx and uh, this is the hilum of the kidney at which uh, uh, structures uh, enter and leaving the uh, kidney this is the renal pelvis and this is the, here here a notch is present here which is a renal sinus so this is the renal sinus now it comes to the blood supply of the kidney. Blood supply of the kidney. So arterial supply. The uh, renal artery supply, then artery supply oxygenated blood to the kidney. And the renal artery is a branch of the abdominal aorta. This is the abdominal aorta coming from above to below or superior to inferior and it's it this is that this is the abdominal iota and it give a branch which supply oxygen blood to the kidney and this is the renal artery the renal artery this is the left renal artery and here the right renal artery is present the venous drainage or the venous supply.
the renal vein drains or deoxygenated blood from the kidney to the inferior vena cava this is the inferior vena cava and this is the kidney and thus is the renal vein so the renal vein uh, drain deoxygenated blood from the kidney from both side of the kidney and drain it to the inferior vena cava and inferior vena cava then uh, bring these deoxygenated blood to the left to the right atrium and then the whole uh, circle which i drawn in the previous lecture okay now now come to the lymph drainage okay so lateral lymph nodes around the origin of renal artery. So you should know that the lateral lymph nodes. The nerve supply. So nerve supply is from the renal sympathetic flexes and uh, i told you in the le previous lecture that plexus is the combination of nerves this was all about the kidney uh, thank you so much thank you for your precious time allah hafiz